Shalom. 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 We give our Baya praise, honor, and glory, Zion, to once again be able to share a meditation with the lost sheep of the house of Israel that have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. And the name of this meditation is All Israel Ain't Israel We need to let that sink in. Why? Because Hasatan the devil is trying and in some cases he is succeeding in trying to sabotage the awakening. Hasatan, the devil, the demon, the dragon, the enemy of Israel has planted his wicked an evil tear among Yah's righteous wheat. And our king gave a parable concerning that. And when the people saw it, our king said in the parable, they said, Master, didn't we plant good seeds? Said, oh, yes. Behold, there are tares in that field. Should we go in there and start pulling them up? He said, no, no. Mm -mm. You're going to have to let the wheat and the tear grow together. Said, Why? He said, an enemy has done this. Who did it? The devil. So who are these tear? Children of the devil. <sighs> yes. And every time Some crazed, uh, so called Israelite, Hebrew does something that's wicked, evil, satanic against the Torah, against everything that we believe and love. hit the news and then there go my email there go my text messages there go my phone yeah more way more way more way mm. well, did, you, did you see what your people are doing <laughs> did you see what your people did you see what happened down in Texas you see, <laughs> you see what happened in Chicago, but the Hebrew, Hebrew life, ain't that the group you belong to? Ain't, that, ain't, you, part of that, ain't you part of that group called the Hebrew, Hebrew life? Whew. 
you stiff neck, hard hearted, dull of understanding, ears but can't hear. We've been saying this from the beginning. The ARC, which stands for Awakening Remnant Coalition. And me, Moray, which it means teacher, Yoshiahu Dawi, are not affiliated with any so called black Hebrew Israelite groups. Now, I've been saying that from the beginning. And every single time some crazed, uh, satanically infused cult leader persuades somebody that their ears is real, that they know they, then all of a sudden they do something stupid outlandish and make the news and here come the enemy, the Hamite, the Jephite, the Shemite, the slumber brood. Moray, is that, is that a part of your group? And I done already told y'all. First of all, you writing and calling the wrong person. Because I've made it plain, we do not play that guilt by association game. Are you crazy? No, and get it straight. Those of you who are world leaders, you kings and you queens and you potentates and you prime ministers and you chieftains and you uppity ups and the muckety mucks, hit them all already, speaking loud and clear to the four corners of the earth. We don't play that guilt by association game. We follow the Torah, the Ten Commandments of the Most Hi, yeah. We are a part of the covenant relationship that Yah or the covenant people that Yah has developed a relationship with. The chosen. All Israel ain't Israel. Get it straight. It's a meditation. We're going to meditate, mean, we got to think about it over and over and over again. What is it about Israel and about the remnant that's separate from everybody who just claimed bloodline? Oh, yeah, in the meditation, we're going to see it today. And maybe my phone will stop ringing. Maybe I'll stop getting these emails and texts. Every time some crazed Negro claimed to be an Israelite. You're going to learn that not all Israel is of Israel. Let us go to our Holy Bible. And prove these things. Who you want? Who do you want to go to first, Moray? Let's go to Romans chapter nine. Let's go to Romans chapter nine. Let's start there. Romans chapter nine. This is the Apostle Paul talking. Shaul from the tribe of Benjamin, our baby brother tribe. This is our cousin. This is what he says. I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not. He said, first of all, I'm speaking emet. What does that mean? Truth, emet means 
I'm speaking that which is consistent to Torah from the beginning, our left, to the middle, mem, to the end, tav. I lie not. My conscience also buried me witness in the Ruach Hokodesh. Oh no, he didn't say that. He said, oh yes. I ain't lying and my conscience is 100% clear in the Ruach. What you want to say? Cuz. He said, well, before I say what I really want to say, let me, let me preface it with this. Okay. I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. I said, what? He said, yeah, we're going to start off with that. We're going to start off with the fact that I have a heavy heart and I'm very sorrowful concerning a particular subject. Well, what is it? He says, for I could wish that myself, no, he didn't say that. Yes, he did. I could wish that myself were a curse. You know, every time I start teaching, of all places, you all have no idea how far I am up in the mountains away from everybody. And I have never been in a place and seen a person actually come to where I am right now and fish ever at all. <laughs> but we're going to continue so that I can get this on video. Oh yes, we got the, this is our meditation, Zion. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, he says. Before you all even think twice about whether or not, I can't believe it, he even done got right in my frame. Let me see here. Let me turn. There we go. He says, if it was possible, I would change places with my brethren and I would be separated from Hamashiach and all of them would be connected to Hamashiach if that was possible. Now I've said this on many occasions and I'm sure finna say it now. I have not at all reached that level. No ma'am, no sir. That's a whole nother level when you can say, I love the brethren so much that if I could be the one person that could take the penalty for everything else that they're doing, that they all might get it straight. He said, I would. But notice the scripture said, for I could wish. In other words, I know that I can't wish, I know that that's not possible, but I'm just trying to show how much I love Israel before I say what I'm getting ready to say about Israel. He says, for my brethren, your brethren, my kinsmen, Oh, if you, didn't, if you didn't understand brethren, he said, these are my brothers. And then he said, these are my kinfolk. And then he says, 
according to the flesh, according to the what? He says, now I'm talking about Israel as Israelites. So part of the meditation is he begins his, he begins this teaching this truth um, concerning Israel by first establishing that Israel is a people group first. You need to write that down. Israel is a people group. Israel is a family. Israel is kinfolk. Israel is made up of 12 tribes of real people, not make-believe, not storytelling, bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, and of those 12 sons is how we get all of our 12 tribes. So he's saying right now, I'm talking about the people who have the blood of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in their veins. That's what I'm talking about now. He said, I'm one of those. I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. And he said, so it's first according to the flesh. Okay, now he's going to lay down some heavy stuff. Watch this. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Who's Israelites? My kinfolk. The Israelite. I'm an Israelite. According to the flesh, yes, I'm an Israelite. Israel is my grandpa. Just like all of my other brethren and my cousins and kinfolk. We all got the same grandpa. His name is and we and all of our tribe heads are all brothers. Twelve brothers gave us the twelve tribes of Israel. He said our Israelite. They're who? Israelites. Now Watch what he says here, carefully. To whom, to who? To Israel, pertaineth, or they received, and the word there in English they said, the adoption, but we actually know that what he's saying is, they received sonship, chosen. This is a meditation. They received sonship. They were chosen and called to be the sons of Yah. To be his people. Yes, all 12 and all of their descendants were called to be or chosen to be his sons and daughters. All right, let's keep going. And the glory, kavod, we've dealt that. So now we've dealt with that word. It means it, the word literally means glory represents that which is weighty. It has to do with that which is very important. So we know based on what Paul is saying as a as a Benjamite, as a bloodline descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he says, I know who got the adoption. We got it, the 12 tribes. And I also know who is really important, Israel. I know that they are the glory. In other words, they are that which really matters to Yah. They're the weighty matter. I know that. What else did they get? Yah's glory is supposed to be seen through Israel. What else? And they got the covenant. They got the what? More. You've been talking about that covenant forever. Oh, yes. I'm reading straight out the Bible. And the covenants. The Israelites got the uh, sonship. They received the glory and the covenants. So all of the covenants. As I mentioned this several times, from the very first Adam uh, covenant from Adam, not Edemic, 
not the Garden of Eden. Adamic, the promise given to Adam. The covenant was then ratified again in Noah. And after Noah, Shem, covenant was then put back into the hand or put into the hand of Abraham, then Isaac, then Jacob, then the 12 tribes. We are all in a covenant with him. Watch now. I ain't done. He says, and the giving of Torah. Oh, by the way, and that covenant is a blood covenant. And then he says, and they also got the Torah, the very laws, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High Yah. Are you serious? Yes, Israel got that. Israel is the one that's called to be the son, to have the glory. They received the covenants and the giving of the Torah. And then he says, and the service of Yah. Huh? The house of Israel is the true servants of Yah. They were giving, given the service of Yah in two ways. They were to serve him through their worship, right? And we can get to that later. I won't get deep into the word worship right now, but it has to do with work. And they were to serve him by doing what? Serving one another which would make them the light of the world and the salt of the earth. All right, anything else? Oh, yes. And the promises. Oh, come on. So wait, so Paul, you said that your family, Israel, that's us. You said we are the ones that are the sons of Yah. He said, oh, yes. We are the ones that have the glory of Yah, been given the glory of Yah. Yes, Israel. We are the ones that are in a covenant relationship with him. Yes. We are the ones that received the Torah. Yes. We are the ones that called to serve our Elohim, Yahuwah. Yes. And now you're telling me that all of the promises of the scripture belong to us. Wow. Man, that's heavy. You say, yeah, that, that is really, that's the true Israel. Now, Verse 5. Whose are the fathers, comma, and of whom as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came. Wait, 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 wait. So are you telling me that Hamashiach is an Israelite? Yes, sir. So Hamashiach Yehoshua is an Israelite. Hamashiach Yehoshua is an Israelite. That's why we can't be through with the Israelites. That's why we can't speak evil or ill against Israelites. Why? He said, it was through the Israelites that we got our Messiah. It was by the Israelites that we got Hamashiach. He is the kinsman of us. He's our kinsman. He's our cousin. He is our kinsman redeemer. We'll get to that in enough. But that's how, when he comes to redeem Israel, 
He's coming to really redeem his kinfolk. And I know somebody's going to say, well, what about the Gentiles? We're going to get to that in a second. But for now, let's just look at this truth that Paul says, I'm not writing this because I'm against Israel. Nor am I writing this because I'm against the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm not writing this because I got a thing against uh, Judah because I'm Benjamin. No, nope. he said, I'm not writing this for any other reason. I don't really have a motive to write this except to let you all know how I feel in my heart when I look at the promised people not woo, I, obtaining the promise. The promised people not walking according to their promise. The chosen people not walking as they are chosen. The ones who was given the sonship are not walking as sons. The ones that are given the glory of Yah are not walking in the glory of Yah. He said, I got a heavy heart because those, where that at? What did he say? Those that were literally given the covenants are not walking according to the covenant. And them Israelites that were given Torah are not walking according to Torah. And those that are supposed to be serving Yah are not serving Yah. And those that are supposed to be, as I said earlier, walking according to the promise. Don't some of them act like there was no promise even given. Is that all more right? No, that's not all. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh of Mashiach came, who is over all? What? Yah blessed forever. Amen. Woo. He was like the greatest of all Hamashiach. And Hamashiach is an Israelite. So the question is what happened? Meditation. This is meditation. What happened? So somebody said, well, obviously it didn't work. Obviously they did, they must didn't, the, the Torah must didn't work. Obviously the commandments aren't working. Obviously the statue's not working. Obviously the covenant. Really? Obviously? That's what you're saying? Well, let's see what Paul says. Not as though the word of Yah has taken none effect. Stop. He said, it ain't the word. The problem ain't the word. Don't act like there was a problem with the word. Don't, 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 don't act like there was a problem with Torah. And woo, please don't act like there was a problem with Hamashiach. Yahoshua, the word made flesh who dwelt among us, hallelujah. There's never been a problem with the Torah or the word. Yeah, but you just said they got all of that. I know, I know, but it wasn't the word problem. But ain't they all Israelites? Not as though the word of Yah had taken none effect, in other words, woo. he said the word didn't fail. Okay, then how come Israel is in such bad situation? For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Get it? straight you Jephites Shemites and Hamites you slumber brews who still don't know who you are and whose you are the truth of the matter is all 
bloodline Israel is not Israel. Now, I want you to let that sink in because next time somebody is on the news for doing something crazy, doing something stupid, doing something illegal, doing something satanic, doing something against our Torah, doing something against our commandments, doing something against the laws and the precepts and the principles and the statutes. And they put it on the front page and they put it in the news and they run a story on it. And then somebody called. <laughs> you part of that group? Man, y'all, is that what y'all do over there? Is that what y'all be doing? Boy, you can look that stiff neck, step and fetch it straight in the face. And what you gonna tell them? You gonna just tell them this. Listen, all is real. Ain't Israel. Why? Because Israel got two sides. There is the bloodline side of Israel. And then there is the covenant relationship that Yah has established with Israel. Watch this now. By faith. Now, we don't use the Christian word faith. The word, uh, the Christian word for faith has to do with like hoping or wishing something. And that's not the, that's not the biblical word at all. The biblical word for faith, which is we know by now it's imunah. And of course, in that word, we know it's related to that which is true. And then there's an actual avav in that word, which means that it is tied to truth. And then, of course, the hay allows us to see the truth. So when we look at when we look at uh, Imuna, we are supposed to be um, walking according to the Torah, according to the laws, statutes, and commandments and principles that Yah has laid out for us in the Word. And He's saying, unfortunately, not every bloodline descendant of Israel is actually walking according to that other side which is what? The side of faith and therefore all Israel ain't Israel and that's why the Moray is going worldwide to let the whole world know and play that guilt by association game with me talking about they Israelites and you are Israelite and y'all don't even know the Bible say all Israel ain't Israel you hear about so and so that went in and did such and such you hear about so and so and well, you trying to I thought that was what you oh well oh you don't got me confused huh as an Israelite that's bloodline and just because somebody, some crazy person in my bloodline do something crazy, don't mean I'm doing something crazy. Because someone that can literally trace their lineage back to the same grandpa I got. And that person go out here and act a fool, breaking the laws, statutes, and the commandments, deny Hamashiach, and begin to live against Torah, that don't mean that's how I live or how I think or how I'm going to move through this world, through these circumstances and situations. Paul said, yeah, Israel had it all, but it's obvious. What? That all Israel is not Israel. So therefore, we don't play that guilt by association game. Why would you say that? He said, oh, I can even go deeper than that. You gonna go deeper than that? He said, oh yes, let's go deeper. All right, what are you gonna say? Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Wait, wait, what? Neither 
because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children? He said, everybody that can claim Abraham as their father, that doesn't mean that they're actually the children of young. I know. That's why I always tell people, I don't play that guilt by association. You're not going to put me in that box. And listen, to all of you world leaders that's watching me, and all of you state leaders and all of you jurisdiction leaders and all of you regional leaders and all of the media that's out there and you keep trying your best to paint us in a negative light and the only way you can do that is guilt by association you can't do that based on what we believe which is the Torah you cannot take this Bible and paint us in a negative light how are you going to paint us in a negative light? How? And we read the Bible. We believe the Bible. Yah is one. That's not negative. We don't have any Elohim before him. That's not negative. We don't build graven images. That's not negative. We don't take his name in vain. That's not negative. We remember the Shabbat to keep it holy. We honor our fathers and our mothers that our days may be long upon the land. We don't kill. We that which means we don't commit murder. So anytime you see some crazed quote called Negro who claim to be Israel committing murder, that ain't us. All Israel ain't Israel. Our laws forbid us from committing murder. I don't know. That's the child of the devil. Thou shalt not commit adultery. When you see people going around here promoting adultery and fornication as right you already know you ain't talking about israel that might he might be blood line but he is not of israel by faith battery about to run out let me go and finish this thou shalt not covet you see anybody trying to covet thou shalt not bear false witness My phone went over the <laughs> lost cow. But y'all know what I'm talking about. We follow the Ten Commandments to the letter. That's who we are. So, Maury, are you trying to tell me? Yes, I'm trying to tell you. We don't play that. You, you got some Israel, I mean, the way the world is set up because of the wickedness that's going on among the bloodline. I'm not talking about the righteous now. You got, you got some people talking about, I don't even want to be associated with Israel. So hold on now. It's taking it too far. Why? Because only Israel is going into the kingdom. Y'all better believe that. Boy, well, what about the, what about the Gentiles? The Gentiles have to be adopted into the family of Israel. They have to be grafted into Israel to make it into the kingdom, which is us. So now we don't say that Israel, that we done with Israel. No, what we say is all Israel ain't Israel. But we are Israel. We are of the promise. We don't play that guilt by association game. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of Yah, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. And he goes on to talk about Abraham had a whole bunch of kids. But he had only one with promise. I think I hear Jeremiah calling. I better, I better answer. Jeremiah, what'd you say? It's a difference. It's a difference between them, them Israelites to be wilding out in you. Is that what you're saying? It's a difference between those who don't want to keep the commandments and you. Read it. 
Oh. Y'all, Uncle Jeremiah said, read this. So let's go back and get Jeremiah. Uncle Jeremiah said, he wrote something for you. He left this for you. Y'all ready? Go to Jeremiah chapter 17. Say that guilt by association, these crazy, uh, stiff neck, full of adultery and lust, fornication, greed, deceit, pride, and arrogance. Gonna associate that with those of us who trying to walk according to the law, studied in the commandment. Y'all can go somewhere with that. But of course, you ain't the first one trying to lump everybody together. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 1. The sin of Judah. The what? The sin of Judah. The what of Judah? The sin. Oh. So Judah done committed sin as a nation. Mm -hmm. Bloodline descendant. And Gwen Cricket. Israel already gone, huh? They had already went crooked, right? Mm hmm. Okay, well, let's look at Judah's sin. He says, Judah, the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron. Oh, what? oh, it's engraved. And with the point of a diamond, it is graven upon the tablet of, of their heart and upon the horns of your altar. While their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills, he said, oh, Judah is doing everything the heathen is doing. Judah out doing Christmas and Easter and up in the groves and doing things they ain't got no business doing. And yes, they are Judah. Upon my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil and thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders. Verse four, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. He said, Judah, even you as a nation, I know you want to be all lifted up in pride, but you ain't going to stay in the land neither. You finna get up out of here acting a fool in my land. That I give thee, I will call thee to serve thine enemies. Here we are. In the land which thou knowest not. Here we are. For you have kindled a fire in my anger. Wait, you done, wait a minute. Judah, you done got Yah mad? Okay, yeah. Right here. Which shall burn forever. Thus saith Yahuwah, Cursed be the man that trusts in man. What? Cursed be the man that trusts in man. What? I just follow my bishop. Cursed be the man that trusts in man. I just follow, I just follow the Pope. I just follow the, the, uh, my pastor. I just follow my leader. I just follow, oh really, huh? And maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departed from Yahuwah. For he shall be like the heath in the desert. I mean, you're going to be like the, like one of them exposed simpletons and shall not see when good coming but shall inherit the parched places in the wilderness oh that's what's gonna happen to you sound bad don't it in a salt land and not inhabited blessed is the man that trusts in yahuwah and whose hope is in yahuwah so you see already he's saying israel is under a curse i mean judah is under a curse but there's a blessing in Yah. Okay. We need to see. Let's keep reading. This is the person that's in Yah. Verse 8. For he shall be as a tree planted by the water. Didn't we hear that in Psalm? The first Psalm? And that spreadeth out her roots by the river. 
and shall not see when the heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. In other words, the ones that trust Yah, not these, even though this is Judah, they don't went crooked. He said, they in trouble. He said, but there's another group that trusts me. They're still Judah. He said, they're not going to be in trouble. What do you mean? He says, they don't have to worry about the drought. They don't have to worry about um, not producing fruit. Then verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know the heart? Only Yah. Uh, once again, let me say this, Zion. All is real. Ain't is real. And the heart being so deceitful, people talking about they're going to follow their heart and they're going to follow their heart to hell. Yah knows the heart, which means if Yah knows the heart, he knows the difference. And I'm getting ready to get to that because that's my point. Do you know that Yah does not operate in this area of guilt by association? He knows the difference between the unrighteous Judah and the righteous Judah. He knows the difference between a Judas Iscariot and a Kepha, Simon Peter, that y'all know. Let's keep reading. I can't, I can't, I can't, this is just a meditation. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, Yahuwah, search the heart. Ooh, I, I wish that, ooh, if I had time. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Every man, oh yeah. It's not guilt by association. This thing is individual. Are you, are you a part of that group that believe that they can do this and that they can do that? Oh boy, you don't understand this thing. What are you talking about? No, uh-uh. All right, let's see it. As the partridge sitteth on his own egg and hatcheth them not, so he that getteth riches and not by right shall leave them in the midst of his days and at his end shall be a fool. Oh yeah, a lot of these so-called Hebrew Israelite groups. You're not trying to keep the Torah, right? you're not trying to the law steps in the commandments. Trying to get rich. Verse 12. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. Yahuwah, the hope of Israel. All that forsake thee shall be ashamed. They that depart from me shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken Yahuwah, the fountain of living waters. Verse 14. Heal me. Wait, what? Jeremiah, what did you just say? Heal me, O oh Yah, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. But they say unto me, where is the word of Yahuwah? Let it come now. Verse 16, ask for me. I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee. Neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knowest that which came out of my lip was right before thee. Verse 17. Be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. He said, hey, all these, <laughs> the nation of Israel done went crooked. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
do not be a terror unto me, be a terror unto them. Because I know, yeah, you don't deal with that guilt by association game. Verse 18. What'd you say, Jeremiah? Make sure you read this loud now so the whole world can get it. Verse 18. Let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. <laughs> Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. He said, yeah, I know Judah's acting a fool, the bloodline. He said, but I'm not like them. I'm not doing the things that they're doing. And I know you don't judge guilt by association. So when you get ready to execute your judgment, he was like, take it out on them, not me. <laughs> Jeremiah said, because I understand what... I, he said, I'm not ever rushing to judgment because I already know what that's about. Anybody else, Moray? Yeah. Yes. Who else? Let's just get Isaiah real quick since I hit Jeremiah. Let's see if, because I could, I could do this all through the Bible, but for sure we could do it with King Dawid, but for now, let's go to Isaiah. What do I, what's, what, do, what verse do I want? I think I want chapter I think I want I thought I wanted chapter one. Hold on for a minute. Let me check. Woo wee, Zion. Go to the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah. I want to show you something. The book of Isaiah. Put that down. Oh, here we go. I want to give you guys the right verse. Where is my verse? He says, unless it unless it was a remnant. That's where I'm going. Because actually that's where Paul is gonna go in his uh if you keep reading, he's going to talk about that Yah has always be, been concerned with his remnant. Isaiah 1. Oh, yeah, that was Isaiah 1. Isaiah 1. Oh, I got excited. Isaiah 1 9. Except Yahuwah of hosts had left unto us. A very small remnant. Oh, so he's not just going to throw away the whole nation? Guilt by association, right? They're all Israelites. I'm, just, I'm done. Uh, they're all Judah. I'm done. Uh, they're all uh, Ephraim. I'm done. They're all, you know. No. He said, Yah has a remnant. And he said, if it hadn't been for that remnant, in other words, Yah didn't play the guilt by association game. He said, all of the rest of them will be destroyed because they're not keeping my law and commandments. They're doing things they ought not do. But there is a remnant, and it's the remnant that he's going to save. He said, and we better be glad it was a remnant because if it hadn't been for the remnant, he said, we would be, uh, would have been as Sodom and we should have been like until Gomorrah. No, we don't play that guilt by association game. We know that all Israel is not Israel. And we're going to meditate on that so that we can make sure that we understand you don't get your ticket punched into the kingdom simply because you have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's blood running through your body. You're only going to get your ticket punched into the kingdom if you are keeping those laws, statutes, and commandments, watch this, in Hamashiach.
our king, our kinsman redeemer. Anybody not doing that, don't let nobody bother you about wickedness that they're doing. Don't let nobody bother you. About, There's no Messiah. Okay, all Israel ain't Israel. We done with you. Messiah, Messiah uh, is a bastard. We ain't dealing with you either. You know, Joseph was his daddy. We're not talking to you either. All Israel ain't Israel. Man, you ain't got to keep the laws, the commandment. Okay. Uh, we ain't dealing with you either. Well, you know, man, there's parts of that Bible, man, need to be taken out. We're not talking, we're not dealing with you either. The law, man, been done away with. Okay. I know you bloodline Israel, but you don't, you ain't Israel either. What do you do with me? Okay, you ain't Israel either. We ain't dealing with none of y'all. We're going to deal with the remnant. And that's the only group. Who's that? Yah's remnant. Whoever Yah has chosen to be his. To walk upright. And to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. The remnant that he's coming back for. Without spot or wrinkle. That's the number I want to be in. Be with these crazed, out of control, no Bible reading, no Torah understanding, nary a understanding of their culture, their history. They don't know the Hebrew language, don't even want to know. Following the doctrines of devils and demons that were predicted in the book of Timothy, in what we call, y'all call the New Testament. No, uh uh. You're not going to put that on me. I. Don't play that guilt by association game and Zion, neither should you. Why? Because we know all Israel ain't Israel. Only the remnant. Hallelujah. 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 If this message helped you, encouraged you, and is supporting you in your walk, number one, share it if you can. Sub subscribe to the channel if you can. And pray and ask Abaya if you can support this work as we seek to wake up Jacob, Jacob and stay true to the Bible and true to our Elohim. And don't get discouraged, Zion, when they keep trying to lump you in with everybody else out here that's done lost their mind. You done got the scripts now. You can let them know. All is real. Ain't it is real. And we don't play that guilt by association game. Shalom.